might be confused by the A on the end. This is a verb. Verbs do first person, second person, third person, right? You're familiar with that lingo from English class? Si o no? Okay. Verbs do third person. People get confused and think it's masculine feminine because of rubio loco, musica campeona. What else? Pequeña, if I said pequeña, chiquito. Those are nouns, right? Okay? All your names are pretty much nouns or adjectives. Nouns and adjectives will reflect the masculine feminine with the O or the A. But verbs, this is something different. This is third person, so no matter if it's a male or a female, it stays se llama. Okay? Now we're going to look at how it changes when we switch to asking someone's name, second person, and stating your name is first person. So would you put this at the top of this section on that page? This is the title of this topic. Asking someone's name, stating your name. So the question, and we might have seen this uh, the first or second day of school. Si o no, did I, did I use this? And I asked you, te llamas, and I said the wrong name, and then I guessed your right name. Did we do that? Okay. So we were using, I was using te llamas. And now, I had this up there, but I didn't ask you to say it. Some people might have said it. Me llamo. So the double L makes what sound? It makes a Y sound. So you might want to write that in. What is called a? What? What? So, and this tu is in parentheses. Tu is this pronoun you. Tu is you. Yo me llamo. Yo is I. So, can we translate this? Levanta la mano. What's one translation for this question? can tell us one way of translating. What is it asking? Que cosa chiquita. Yes. Super. Gracias. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what's another translation? Mapache, uh, <clears throat> pelirroja. Muy bien. Otro, and then another translation. Sol. Uh, yes, good. We just got that one. And then there's another different one. Musica campeona. What are you called? What are you called? And there's yet another one with the word name in it. What is it? I got someone's name in, in English. When you're meeting someone, what do you say? I heard it. Yes. Who are, you? Who are you? Okay. That's not what I was thinking. Use the word name. What's your name? What's your name? That's what I was waiting for. Where you had it? That's where you had it. Oh no! No wonder. I'm sorry. I was just got trucking along and did and forgot. Them. <laughs> that was first. My bad. What's your name? Okay. Like why are they thinking of this? <laughs> okay. And then the responses. Um, so how would you translate, yo me llamo Senora Rose? My name is Good. Mm -hmm. What's another translation? I go by. I go by. What else? One more. 
I am called, uh, oh, this is what I was trying to get out of you. I call myself, what are you called? I'm going to also put, what do you call yourself? And you'll see why. So notice um, when we have Seyama, it ends, Seyama ends with what letter? A. It's a verb. It's not masculine feminine. That's third person. Second person always is going to end, the verb will have an S. Como te llamas? So when you hear that S, I'm asking you, you are being asked the question. Second person. But if I say, como se llama, then you, oh, there's no S, that's he or she. Tu is you. It's in parentheses because in Spanish you don't have to say the pronoun. It's understood because of this S. Those are doing the same purpose of saying you, second person. Also with first person, any of them, you can leave off yo. Yo is I. I call myself, I go by. And that O is telling you, I'm telling about myself, me llamo. But if I say, se llama, someone else. Okay, gracias por su atención.